So here is Kyle Bryant. He has teed it up at the 35, and again back deep, standing at the goal line. All right near side, and Coleman on the far side. And the kick is a cruise kick, and under end will go back into the end zone. Dropped at the C in the word Cowboys in the end zone. And now All Red will take a knee, and they will bring it out to the uh, 20. And they will open up, Dave, in a shotgun with a trips formation on the left side. So we'll ha see how the Aggies handle this defensively. Sean Coriat is out there right now. Here's the ball snap. Pocket at the 12. Throw over the middle. Ball will be caught at about the 25 and out of the 26 by Brian Waters. Waters will make the catch. That win. We had a quarterback sack in the USL game. The number two tackler on the ball club for Texas A&M out of Rockport. Fulton made that stub. High formation, Hampton the lead back. All red out of Brownwood is the tailback. He's standing at the 20, line of scrimmage the 27. All red gets the call, hit at the 25, they lost two. All red was the deep back and will make it back to the 25 yard line. And Marcus Hurd, who started out that nose tackle position, this is his second start. Stephen Young had the first start in the game against uh, Sam. He starts this ball game. So third down and four, they will need the 30 yard line. And a shotgun formation, a running back on either side of Mills. Calling an audible. Long count, standing at the 21. Drops back to the 12. He's looking, and he will throw, and it is off the shoulder of the intended receiver. That'll be Waters, who caught the first pass. Incomplete, out at about the 30, and it will be punt time coming up for the University of North Texas. John Baker is out of Blend Junior College, 10th in the nation last year, was a junior college All-American. His home is Brenham. He's a sophomore transfer. A little high on the snap, but easily controlled, and this is a good kick. It'll send Hall over to the Aggie 28. Here comes his return to the 30. There's a flag down. The Aggies will be caught for a clip at the 30-yard line, and that will be against Jeff Wilson at the 30. Running backs to start the game will be Broyles and Hall. And here's the snap and hand the ball off to Hall. He's got good yardage out across the 25 and near the 30-yard line. He will pick up nine, Dante Hall, and it'll be second down and a yard coming. The Aggies are, are starting the game with an unbalanced line, and they've brought their wide receiver over to the side. They've got it again here. You only have two linemen to the right of the center and unbalanced all the way on the left side. Two tight ends on the left side. Pitch the ball on the snap. Back to Hall at the 30. He has a first down at about the 32, 33-yard line. So a pitch, and they were coming left. So a first down for the Aggies. Snap it, hand it off to Hall. Nice hole right side. Breaks the tackle. Puts a move on another man. He's spinning at the 50. And now across the 50 to the 45. He broke two tackles. Put a man in the wrong direction when he put a move on one of the UNT defenders at about the 47 and carried the ball then down to the mean green 45 for a first down. Once again, the Aggies going with that unbalanced set, and they've just they're just trying to play power football, power rush, and so far it's been successful. Sir Parker checks in, they hand off to Parker, he tries the middle, he hits the 40, breaks out of there, he's at the 35, he's at the 30, man's got an angle on him at the 20, he's going to the sideline, and out of bounds at the sideline, and that should be a late hit. Oh, it should, but they, they didn't throw they, a flag. They, they were out of bounds when they hit him at about the 6, he went out of bounds at the 11, and he was running down the sideline in that big white area that looks like a sidewalk surrounding the field, but at the 11 yard line's the official spot. So the running backs lining up behind Brandon Stewart will be Tiki Hardeman and Sir Parker. Way out to the right side will be Chris Cole. Snap it. Hand it off. Tiki tries the middle. Tiki will get the seven-yard line. And that will be Scott Blink. Two tight ends and a flanker right. Pitch it. Coming left. It goes to Parker at the five. He will walk into the end zone from the seven-yard line totally untouched. So the and Aggies will score. Up. And Epps... Uh, was, I think, just caught for a, a personal foul. Is that the case? Yep. Yeah, personal foul. So Epps was joining that time with uh, with Derek Speller. Well, so the really Aggies have scored. It's 6 nothing. It's 11-27. All right, so uh, there's been a long delay here. And now one of the officials is coming to the sideline to visit with uh, R.C. Slocum. Okay. Penalty was declined by Texas A&M on the defense. It was a personal foul. So RC, I think, was wanting it uh, tacked on on the kickoff. So Kyle Bryant now will check in to uh, try the extra point. He is a perfect 17 of 17 for his career, 114 of 121. He scored 23 points this season. Aggies, of course, uh, bought just on a scoring binge in the first two games. They've taken a 6-0 lead. Ball is spotted down on the snap from Kyle Lednecki. And the kick is good. And the Aggies have the initial lead at 11.27 to go in the first quarter. 7-0 over UNT. 
This is Texas Aggie football. Let's take a look at that first drive. The Aggies starting exactly as they needed to, trying to take the starch out of North Texas. They got a punt at their own 21-yard line in eight plays. They went 79 yards. They were all running plays, employing an unbalanced line on seven of those eight. They got a 34-yard run from Sir Parker, then the eight-yard touchdown, untouched from Sir Parker. Seven to nothing, the Aggies lead it. Another nice kick here. It will be all red, watching it bounce in front of him, and now coming over on the bounce and taking it. Tubby Coleman takes the knee. It will be brought out to the 20-yard uh, line. Jaquay Wilburn will be the tailback. Latif Hampton's the fullback in an eye. Handed off to Hampton. He hits the 20. He's down at the 20-yard line. They tried just over the right side, did North Texas, and the Aggies, Brad Crowley, was one of the first men to get to him. Out to the left side will go Bo Harrison. Seems to be his confusion now as Jay Young's trying to find his spot. They go with two tight ends, a single setback. Mills drops back to the 15, throws. It will be caught at the 22. There's a missed tackle by AM by Dat Wynn. He moves the ball to the 26-yard line. So now here's third down and three. They did not convert on their first third down. They are 14 of 30 on third downs in their last two games, both of which they have won. Third down and three at the 27. They'll run the option to the left side. Mills caught, and he's dropped for no gain at the 27-yard line. Brad Crowley just doing a great job of following the quarterback down the line and catching him from behind. You continue to be impressed with the speed and quickness that Crowley is showing. Just another nice play and a, another stop for the wrecking crew. No first downs for North Texas so far in this ballgame. Here is Baker. Baker with a great punt earlier. About the same location. We've got Dante Hall for Texas A&M standing at the Aggie 30. Again, high on the snap, but he controls it. And another nice kick. Not quite the spiral. Here's Hall moving up to take it at the 34. Got a little bit of a block there. Now cuts it up the field. Got five out to about the 40-yard line. Aggies now at the line of scrimmage on a first down and 10 at their own 40-yard line. Stewart, play action, under pressure. He will be sacked back at the 32-yard line. It'll be a loss of eight yards. And the sack made by Philip Littlejohn. It's his first of the season. Littlejohn got the sack. Flag Stewart, down. play action. There's a flag down about the 40-yard line in the uh, Let's see if it was secondary. Holding against Texas A&M. They're likely to take the down in the sack. You know, hold against the Aggies, decline. They will take the play, bring up second down. Stewart at the line of scrimmage, Hardeman and Hall are the running backs. It's a second down at about 17. Stewart drops back, throw out in the flats. They've set up a screen to Hall. He goes to the sidelines, got about three to the 35-yard line. Third down and 15. They've got to make it to midfield. And it's a light eye, the motion. Stewart. Gets the snap, rolls this way, and he's got a man coming up behind him. Throw the ball out to the 45, fighting for the first down. It's a first down, Chris Cole. Across the 45 to the 50 to the 44-yard line. Two missed tackles, big misses for UNT. And now finally at the 44, that's where Chris Cole will be brought down. Lee Malone made the stop for Cole. It's only his third reception of the season. Aggies two of two now on their first two passes. Here is a handoff. They try the middle. Tiki Hardeman to the 41-yard line. Hardeman gets about three yards. Scott Blink again on the tackle. Number four tackler on the ball club. Second down and about seven coming. Ball now at the UNT 41. Ash mark to the left and an eye formation with two tight ends and a flanker right the open side. Ags will keep it on the ground. It goes to hole. He has about five. He's across the 35. And he will go to about the 33, and uh, Dante Hall just got a first down. Ag's big play was a third down conversion to Chris Cole for 21 yards on a third and 15. Play action again. Nope, it's a handoff up the middle. I bought the uh, handoff on a first and 10 at the 30-yard line. The tackle is made. It's a minimal gain. Andre Phillips, he's out of Houston, went to Aleph Hastings. All that stuff. Second down, and we'll say about eight will be needed. Snap it, pitch it to the right side. Hall turns it. Back to his left, and he's caught at the 30 for really no gain. It's third down and seven from the 30. Must get it down to about the 23. They put that'll be Parker in motion to the right side. Drop back to the 35. There was a lot of pressure coming, and it's an incomplete pass right up the middle. Brandon Stewart had uh, right in his face Ron Boston. And Boston put him on his backside just as he got rid of the football. It'll be Bill Johnston to hold. Kyle Lednecki is the deep snapper. Saw his dad Ben last night at the hotel. Ball will be spotted. I guess we're going to call this the 37, so it's a 47-yard effort. The angle's back to the left. Here's the kick. It's on its way. It's got the distance, and the kick is good. How about that? Want to call it 47? Is that good enough for you, Dave? 
Let's call it 47 and a half, but I guess officially that means it's 47. All right, so 47 on the field goal, and now a timeout will be called. The Aggies with a 10-0 lead at the 619 mark. As here we look at the kick, and Kyle Bryant has put his foot into it. Hunt Allred is trying to shade his eyes, looking into that sun as it sinks here in the west, and now will take a knee. All three of his kicks have gone to the end zone. Aggies lead 10-0 at the 611 mark. They've changed quarterbacks. It's Ladaron McClain, who has had minimal playing time. A former Dallas Morning News top 100 prospect has now moved in to replace Jason Mills. He'll run the option. He throws the ball on the pitch behind the line of scrimmage to Hunt Allred. Up in the air he goes, and down on his head he goes at the 24-yard line. Pitched up in the air on the play by the Aggies. It'll be Jason Webster. They've got Starsky Banks in as the fullback. And Allred is the tailback. Pitch it to Allred. They're going to go wide to the left. He turns the corner. He has the first down. Their first of the ball game across the 30 to the 31-yard line. And now North Texas will come to the line of scrimmage with McLean as the quarterback. Banks, Allred are the running backs. Line of scrimmage, the 31. Short drop. Wants to throw. Blocked back in his face by Marcus Hurd. Hurd blocks it right back in his face on a very shallow pocket. Second down, still 10, North Texas, their 31, play action. McLean rolling right, throws the ball. It is caught, great catch across the 40 at about the 42-yard line. Tremendous catch there by Bo Harrison. It's his 10th of the season. Harrison's a guy with a lot of experience. In uh, Ladaren Mc McLean, 6'2", 195, uh, pass efficiency rating in the first four games of just 57. But he's got a great start here as he starts to move their offense. They'll, that's play action. Now a deep pitch to Allred. It's got yardage across the 50, down the sideline. Knocked out of bounds on the far sideline by Rich Cody. Inside the Aggie 40 at about the 38 and a half yard line. First and 10. They operate from the Aggie 38 and a half yard line. Long count, shallow pocket, throws down low, incomplete at the 35 yard line. Defensively, it was Curry. And the intended receiver on the play. That was Waters. Waters again. They have Kendrick Holley way out to the left side. Single. Now it's going to be a shotgun with a trips formation on the right. Second down and 10. Must to the Aggie 28 and a half. It'll be a quarterback draw. McLean running to the far sideline. Trying for the sideline. Stretches out. Steps out. Inside the 35 at the 32 yard line. And again, they'll show a shotgun with three wideouts here on the right side, one of which is Jay Young. He went out on that last, well, on this series, but has returned now. Here is McLean waiting for the snap, a little low, down around his knees, dances to his left, throws, skips it into the turf, incomplete. It would have been a first down had he had gotten the ball up. But it's incomplete inside, that's it's inside the 30, skipped out of bounds at about the 27 yard line. Ball will be spotted at the 38-yard line. It's a 48-yard effort. The angle is back to the right. The goal posts are painted an optic yellow. Good target. Here's the kick. Has the distance. Is it good? It was good. 48 yards. 48-yard field goal by Garrett Courtney. It's 10-3 with 4.31 to go in this first quarter. The Aggies leading UNT by a touchdown. Courtney has just kicked off to Texas A&M. An over-the-shoulder catch in the end zone by Hall. Had thoughts of bringing it out. And then just before he stops, uh, stops short of the goal line, takes the knee in the end zone, and it will be brought out to the 20. First and 10, Texas A&M. Aaron Oliver is a receiver. The running backs will be Broyles and Parker. Brandon Stewart remains at quarterback. First and 10 at the 20. Snap it, hand it off. It will be Parker up the middle. Has five tripped up from the backside. He'd add more. He carries it out to the 28-yard line. He was caught around the ankles and a nice play by Corbin Epps. Some Gardner is a split in on the left side. The Aggies have covered up the tight end on that unbalanced line. And there was movement by the defensive front for UNT. Very uh, smartly, Stewart asked for the ball. It snapped, and they will carry it out to the 30-yard line and get the first down. They catch movement in the line of scrimmage. They are told to snap it if a man's in the neutral zone. They snap it and they'll run it. You remember uh, Randy McCowan last week got about, what, 8, 9, 10 yards on a play exactly like that. First down and 10 at the 30-yard line, an eye formation, and it will be Parker in the backfield. He is smothered, among others, Deontay Lewis. Loses a yard, does Parker at the 29-yard line. 
And the play then relayed to uh, his teammates. New tackle in on the left side, replacing room, and is Rex Tucker. That's the only change in that offensive line. Snapped the ball, handed off to Broyles. Nope. Yeah, it was Broyles. Broyles across the 30 to the 31-yard line. On a second down and 11. Put a man in motion. Stewart under center. Takes the ball, rolls to his right, back to the 23, trying to get away. Sack, can't do it. He's sacked back at the 23-yard line. So here comes Shane Leckler out on the field. Leckler, five kicks. A 44-point average. His longest has been 61. Tubby Coleman will drop back in anticipation of the punt. Here's the kick. Nice high sailor. Coleman drifting back, drops it, picks it up. Got by one man, coming back to the 20, now to the 24. And here is Mills back in at quarterback, replacing McLean. So the uh, Ags use two, and so does UNT. Action, drop back to the 15, looking deep. He is going deep. And it will be intercepted by Texas A&M inside the 40. And a flag goes down on the return. Now back to the 48-yard line. And the interceptions by... That Brandon Jennings. Yes, it, it is. is Brandon Jennings. That'll be his first interception of the season. He had two pass knockdowns. He had an interception last year against the Sooners of Oklahoma. Playing center field, he did just what he's supposed to do. If the ball goes deep, he's supposed to go get it. And he went up high for it and came down with it. I think the Aggies will get the ball, but I think they'll be moved back some on a well, see, those, a slipping those, penalty. Those defensive guys don't get to work on their blocking all that much. So well, that's true. It's going to be a hold, actually, uh, against... That's something else that comes natural, <laughs> is holding for defensive guys. And it will be marked off from the 43-yard line, but an interception. And it will be Texas A&M's football. Single setback is Hall. McCowan now with two tight ends along that offensive front. Will run the option. Coming back. He'll keep the ball, and he's got great yardage. Spins across the 45. He's brought down at the 50-yard line, Randy McCowan. Aggies have 107 yards rushing the football here in this first quarter. That was a 17-yard carry by McCowan, his longest. Hand off again. They try the left side. It's Hall. Picks up five to the UNT 45-yard line. A lot of switching and moving around on the defensive front for UNT. McCowan takes the snap. He hands off. It is Hall. Hall trying for a first down. Won't get it on a second down. And five. He'll go close to the 41-yard line. Time has run out now in this first quarter. On that play, the Aggies will face third down about a yard and a half when we come back, and we will be back. It is 10-3 A&M after one. This is Texas Aggie football. To the line of scrimmage comes the maroon and white. With an eye formation, McCowan turns to say something to Tiki Hardeman. Hack right out over the ball for the Aggs. He's the center. He'll start everything. Long count. Snap it. Hand off. We'll go to Hall. He has the Aggie first down across the 40 to the 38-yard line. A first down, Texas A&M. Tied in is Daniel Campbell. Right behind him now is Spiller in the backfield. The Aggies run from an eye. Hardeman and Hall. Randy McCowan, his first series. There may have been movement. There was the Ag I think it was the left guard. I think that was McKinney who moved just before the snap. So the Ags will be penalized five. That's been another area that's been pleasing in those first games. Aggies have been penalized just 12 times for 120 yards and really the officials, uh, the opponents rather, 17 for 154 so just 29 total penalties in the first two A&M games both teams combined. Have a couple here today, here's first and 15 and it's a sprint out to the right side and a nice carry here for Hall as he will carry inside the 35 down to about the 32 and a half yard line Philip Littlejohn Made that stuff. Here's Hardeman and uh, Hall talking as they line up in an eye behind McCowan. The two tight ends against Spiller lines up in the backfield. Pitch it. They're going to throw a halfback pass back to Hall. He's looking deep. He has a man. That's Bumgarner, and it's off his fingertips in the end zone on the halfback pass. Oh, he threw it too far. <laughs> his arm's too strong. He just overthrew oh, him. Oh, he was wide bit. open. Yes, he was. And here comes A&M breaking the huddle. Hodge is a flanker, two flankers, two tight ends, a single setback. They may be coming on a blitz. They're going to throw quickly with the Aggies. It'll be caught by Leroy Hodge. Dodge Chris Cole. He dropped the ball. Did they, they call that complete? No, he they... dropped it and it rolled out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Johnston, the last man out. Here's Lednacki on his snap. It's spotted down. Here's the kick. It has the distance. Did it have the uh, direction? It did not. It's no good on an attempt. 
That would have been somewhere in the neighborhood of about 50 yards. So they'll turn it over on the missed field goal of about 50 yards by Kyle Bryant. That's the first one that he has missed this season. He is now three out of four on the ground. UNT, all red, line of scrimmage, a half yard more. At the 33-yard line, he gets to the 34. Yeah, second and eight in the shotgun formation. And the quarterback will be Jason Mills. They've used McLean once today. He throws, does, over the middle. Ball is caught by Waters, and that'll be about a two-yard gain. They threw that just a yard past the line of scrimmage. Waters, who has been a target a number of times, at least three or four times today. Shotgun again. Three wide outs, sort of to the right side. And a wide, two of them are here on the left side. And Mills calling an audible. Takes the snap. It was down low around his knees. Out in the flats they go. Behind the line of scrimmage. And here's... All red to the 39-yard line. They will be shy of a first down by about four yards. There's a, a visual example of what we talked about before the show. That's flying to the football. Boy, they got yeah. a lot of helmets around there. Cedric Curry is the biggest of the Aggie cornerbacks. It's 6'3", 186 pounds, a sophomore, one letter. And a Houston Curry, or a Sterling rather. Here is the kick by Baker. And he will hit at the 10, will roll into the end zone and bring out to the 20-yard line with 11.33 to go. Here in the second quarter, the Aggies stalled out on that drive, and they now uh, lead the ball game at 10-3 by a touchdown. But Cowan moves out behind Rex Tucker now, who is the center. Split backs, got Hall and Parker in the backfield, neither in motion. Cowan. Drops back to the 13, sets up, throws the tight end Spiller at the 25, broke a tackle, he goes to the 30, goes to the 34-yard line. Derek Spiller gets an Aggie first down on a 14-yard pass from McCowan. I think Tucker, uh, nope, we've had another change. That's Brandon Houston now at the left guard in that offensive line. Here's the play in the backfield. There was a little collision. Getting away will be Sir Parker, and he turned what should have been a big loss back at about the 30 into a nice gainer across the 40 to the 42-yard line. Second down at about two and a half, an eye formation behind Randy McCowan. Hands off again. They're going on the right side. A&M trying to get a first down. They won't get it. And the first time that Parker on that carry will make a move, it was back to his left, probably would have picked up the first down, but of course we have a better view from it up here, and it looked like... Uh, 5 o'clock rush hour at that point to him, I'm sure. And then he came to the sideline and went out at the 43-yard lines. So now third down and uh, about two yards. They need, for all purposes, the 45. And again, a deep pitch. Parker fighting. Will he get it? He is pushing his way. And I think he got it with second effort at the 45-yard line. He did. Yes, he did. Parker got the carry. And he's able to push the ball across the 45. Way out on the left side will be Aaron Oliver. In the slot in that direction will be Leroy Hodge. The Aggies will give an eye formation look to the UNT defense. Again, they have a tight end to the left. So they've covered up the tight end. Here's play action and a sack now on the snap. Dropping back. McCowan dropped at the 40. That's at least three times that UNT has come up with a sack. It was Corbin Epps. Lost back to the uh, 40. It's second down and 15. Split backs. McCowan. Under center, Rex Tucker. Shallow pocket. Now he's going to have to roll. He's got somebody coming up behind him. Throws the ball. Makes the uh, reception at about the 49-yard line right over the middle. That'll be Daniel Campbell. And then he was hit by a couple of the mean green defensive members, Jeff Harris and Dehate Lewis. Third down, and they need the UNT 45. The line of scrimmage is the Aggie 49. Snap the ball, set the pocket, throw to Chris Cole. He will be wrapped up. Now he caught the ball. It skipped, I think, up. Was he down on a knee? He was down on a knee at the 49. So the Aggies will not convert. On a third down, they will face now fourth down, and it will be on the UNT side of the 50. And quickly, they are running the punt unit out there. And here is Leckler. Leckler likely will try to get this one out of bounds inside the 20. Try to avoid the end zone. Here's his kick for effect. High in the air. Looked like he used his fungo shoe again. Ball will hit at the 3 and then into the end zone it goes. It'll be brought out to the 20. And again, they have gone back to McLean as the quarterback as UNT. Single setback is Wilburn. They'll run the option, and uh, oh, nothing going there. Zarek Rollins wrapped him up as he started to run to his right. McLean is hit behind the line. He's back at the 16-yard line. Now, timeout will be called by UNT. Apparently, there was some confusion in the uh, 
in the huddle. Single setback again will be Jaquay Wilburn. Quite a high school player in Odessa. McLean looking to two wideouts on the right side. Turns and looks at his running back. McLean is the quarterback. He wants to run the option. Makes the option pitch. Ags have nothing to do with it. Stop is Wilburn inside the 15 at the 13-yard line. Brandon Jennings, one of those to get in there. Seven minutes to go in the first half. A&M leads 10-3. Wilburn again will be the lone setback. They go with two. Now they have one tight end. He's here on the left side. He's Time not, just ran out. They got a penalty of five yards coming as the 25-second clock ticked down to a big goose egg. Well, they're operating down around the 13-yard line with the Aggie band to their left, and much of this, the Aggie partisans in that same bowl. So they're listening to a bunch of noise. It's hard for them to hear the snap count, well, I'm sure. Here on this side of the stadium on the west side, it is a sea of maroon and white. Good Ags crowd today. Sold a lot of tickets. This will be the biggest crowd that UNT has ever hosted for a home game. This is considered to be their home game. Ball moved on the penalty back inside the 10. UNT will come out and they'll give the Aggies a shotgun look. There's the snap. Quarterback draw. Wilburn. I'm making McLean out to the 15 with Wilburn blocking for him right there at the 15. He is brought down. That was third down and a bunch. He gets it back to the 15. He'll bring up a Baker will take the snap back at about his own three. It's a good snap. There's outside pressure. The kick is away. It's coming to this sideline. It will go out of bounds at the Aggie 38-yard line. So they wanted to keep that ball away from Mr. Hall, and they do it by kicking it out at the Aggie 38, so that's a good field start. And the Ags will send Brandon Stewart back out on the field to quarterback the ball club. Kobe Hackrat has returned at center. Rex Tucker had been in the ball game on the last couple of series. As the Ags snap it, and now play action, throw it, and it is dropped across the 50 at about the 47, high in the air. Spiller trying to bring it down. Needed some of that uh, stick on his fingers. He might have been able to catch the, the uh, football at the UNT 47, but it goes incomplete. Second down and 10. Again, AM must get the ball to their own 48-yard uh, line. So from the 38, hand it off. It goes to Hall. Hall across the 40 to the 43-yard line. Near five. They're going to give him the 42. Hackrat waiting for the proper count. Gets it. Hands off to Hardeman. Hits at the 45. He will not first down as he goes across the 45 to the 46. That was third down and about five. Here's the snap. Oh, and again, kick. a nice high kick. Tubby Coleman will watch this one hit behind him. He came up as if he was going to take it at the 10, sort of deking the uh, punt team for the Aggies. He hit behind him at the 5 and goes into the end zone. It'll be brought out to uh, the 20. And here is Mills back in for UNT as they continue the quarterback shuffle. All red started inside, goes outside, drug down at the 20 from the backside. And there's no gain. They had Corey out over there. Webster was over there, so was Rich Cody for Texas A&M's wrecking crew. And we're under four minutes in the first half. Shotgun again. Three wideouts. Two on, yep, it's two on this side, one on the other. Drop it back to the 12. Throw the ball. Caught at the 31. Got away from the first man. Spinning him down at the 40-yard line. Nice pass and a great run after the catch by Bo Harrison. One of the Ags caught him around the belt. If he hadn't done that, I think he's going to get the quick six. 3.27 to go until halftime. Hand it off again. It'll be all right around the right side. And he has a first down. He goes across the 50. Runs the ball down to the Aggie 47-yard line. That is six of them now. They have 100 yards in total offense. They're trying to score before halftime. Long count by Mills. Play action. Drops back. Throws. It'll be caught. And it'll be close for a first down at the Aggie 37-yard line. Caught by Jay Young. Second down, very short. They'll go with two tight ends. Allred's the running back. Hand it off to Allred. Goes in, picks up the 36-yard line. The first down. Hand it off. He tried the right side. He was pushed back by Dat Wynn. His first down and 10 at the 35. UNT will put a man in motion to the right side. Mills drops back, throws out in the flats, dropped at the 40-yard line by Allred. Shotgun formation, second down and 10 at the 35. Aggie end. Drop it back to the 45. Out in the flats to Allred. Behind the line, you got a flag down. He'll be roughing the passer against Texas A&M. Allred caught it. 
was pushed out of bounds at the 32. There will be a late hit on Jason Mills. It'll be roughing the passer against Texas A&M's right. They'll give him the 32 and then take the uh, play of the penalty there. Roughing the passer against Texas A&M. Here comes uh, Young. Now here's the penalty against Texas A&M. They move the ball after the uh, run and uh, the pass and run to Allred. They moved it across the 20 down to the 17. So a late hit against the wrecking crew on Mills after he had thrown. First and 10. Now the Aggie faithful start to make some noise and across the way UNT is doing the same thing. Bo Harrison goes out to the right side. It's an eye formation behind Jason Mills. Still haven't snapped it. Now they do. Run the option to the right side. Mills carries across the 15. Mills down to the 11-yard line where he got out of bounds and they will stop the clock. You know, I talked to a number of the players during the They would have their hands full. All the players I talked to, as did the coaches, said that this was a, a good North Texas team, much improved from last season. They brought in a lot of junior college people who apparently have started to warm to the task of Matt Simon and his concepts drop back to the 15 roll throw the ball into the end zone it is a touchdown north texas that'll be caught by bo harrison about three yards deep in the zone and that was a tremendous throw by jason mills he had to thread the needle as he rolled to his right back and around the 15 yard line and now they are an extra point away from tying the game at halftime at 10 apiece Boy, the giant killers of North Texas are trying to do it two weeks in a row to the Big 12. They beat 30-27 to 27 Texas Tech in Lubbock last week. And it was 10-10 at halftime. Last year at halftime, this ball game was nothing. Texas A&M. Here's the point after. And uh, Garrett Courtney's kick will be good. Game tied at 10, a minute 51 to go until halftime. 10-10 tie. Texas Aggie football continues after this timeout. Don't know exactly what happened. I'll tell you after this kickoff. Here comes Courtney's kick. Hall backs into the end zone. He's going to bring it out to the 5, to the 10, to the 15. He spins. He's trying to get away. He's going to fight to the 20s, to the 23, 24-yard line. He came out from about four yards deep in the end zone on the far side and worked at an angle back this way. Now a flag goes down after the tackle at about the 30-yard line. While we were away, there was a spirit group, and they wear white shirts and uh, blue denim pants. Spirit group to this end zone to our left, which I guess is the north end zone. And they got into it with the Aggie band. They had to bring the police out to move those people away from the A&M band. There was some pushing and shoving and all kinds of things going on, and they had to bring in the police. Well, the Aggie Band is supposed to be down there. I don't know what those guys are doing down there. The Aggie Band's getting ready to perform at halftime. We've got a flag down on the field. Let's see what we've got. And it'll be a personal foul. It's going to be against North Texas at the 23-yard line. There's two. Ah, it's offsetting. Offsetting against both teams. A personal foul, so A&M will keep the ball at the 23. Here's A&M with McCowan under center in a split-back formation. Tight ends to the left. Straight drop. Forced out of the pocket, rolls to his right. Now he's going to run with the football. He goes out to the 30-yard line. He is close for the first down as he dives to about the 32. Second down, shotgun from the 25. Here is McCowan again forced out of the pocket. Now tackle from the backside and sacked at the 25-yard line. One of the strengths of this A&M team on those first two games has been the protection that the offensive line has given the Aggie uh, quarterbacks. However been a situation today where that's about four sacks turned in by the UNT Mean Green. Timeout call Texas A&M with 57 seconds remaining. The Aggies will face third and nine when we come back. 57 seconds until halftime tied at 10. This is Texas Aggie football. Aggies facing third down and nine from their 25 yard line. Must make it out to the 34. Snap it. Drop back to the 19. Quarterback sack. And again, it's going to be Scott Blank. That's at least five sacks today against Aggie quarterbacks. He is sacked 23. We have a timeout called. A timeout has been called, so we're back in a moment. It's 10-10, 41 seconds to go until halftime. And Texas Aggie football continues after this timeout. Here is the punt by Leckler. Standing back at his nine. They're coming. 
kick is away under a lot of pressure. Tubby Coleman has taken the punt and just fumbled the ball. It's on the ground. However, North Texas got it at the 27-yard line. Leckler, from a line of scrimmage of the 24, kicked the ball back to about the 20. And then the return was fumbled and then finally recovered at the 27-yard line. And it'll be Mills, and they've got three wideouts on the right side. Mills, unaudible. Single set, or actually a single receiver here on the left. There's the snap. He's standing at the 20. He throws. It's caught at the 30. And it has been fumbled out of bounds. But where did it go out of bounds? Ball was caught by Jay Young. And then he fumbled behind the line of scrimmage. He had the 30-yard line, but he fumbled behind him. And it rolled out back at the 26. And they lost a yard on a completed pass of the fumble. Cedric Curry was there to make the tackle on Young. 25 seconds until halftime. Shotgun all red in the backfield. Pocket set up at the 19. Steps up, throws, man wide open, Young at the 35, goes to the 39. They'll have to stop the clock, move the chains with 18 seconds. Two wideouts left side. Two on the right, single setback. Mills, back to the 32, dancing around, steps up. He's going to run the football. He will be caught. He has fumbled the ball. It's been picked up by Allred. He's pushed back to the 35-yard line. And time has run out in this first quarter. All right, first half, rather. The second quarter winds down. Aggies at halftime with UNT are tied at 10. That's exactly where Texas Tech was in their game with North Texas last week out in Lubbock. And here is the kickoff by Courtney. Sidewinder will sail through the end zone. Hall looks at it all the way through the end zone and uh, be brought out now to the 20-yard line. And it will be Brandon Stewart to start the second half. Behind him, Dante Hall, the only setback. The Ags show two tight ends, two flankers on either side of the ball. Hand off. It goes up the middle of Hall. He has 10, and he fell down as he hits the 32-yard line. His feet deserted him at the 32. He would have gotten a whole lot more. Aggies get 12 yards on the first play to start the second half. And the other thing, too, RC was talking about this week is their high, a high crown on yes. that field. And he would have started downhill a little bit off that crown as he made that cut at the 32. And they'll hand off again in the backfield. It'll go to Hall, and Hall's caught behind the line at the 30. Hall again at halftime with 68 yards. Now, uh, let's see, he gets 10, so he has 78 here. Counting two, he just lost, and 12 he picked up on the first carry. Going to pass the ball from a shallow pocket, batted up in the air. Nobody knew where it was until it hit behind Stewart and off to his left back at the 22. So third down, 12 from the 30, got to get it to the 42. Split bucks. Split in right. Straight drop, pocket 24, forced out of the pocket, throws to the sideline to Hall off his fingertips, incomplete. At about the 35-yard line, he was hit as the ball arrived by Philip Littlejohn. Leckler will punt the ball away. Tubby Coleman back at the 25. Good spiral. Coleman at the 29. Hit. Ball free. Jamison picks it up, and he recovers it as he's tackled at the 18-yard line. Tubby Coleman. Oh, my, oh, my. Airbags on that one. Jeff Wilson. Wow. I guess Wilson responsible for the hit. Wow. And then Jamison picked it up. What a hit. Ball came free. Didn't lose his helmet, but he spent some time with his helmet off on one knee at about the 20-yard line after the hit. Aggies get it on a fumble on the punt. They have it at the 19-yard line, about the 18 and a half. Hand off, Parker, left side, 15-yard line. Hardeman and Parker are the running backs on this second down and six from the 15. They put a man in motion, Hodge, back toward the middle of the field. Play action. No, he handed it off. It went to Parker. And he's going to make his way inside the five down to the one. Oh, that was a great play. The Ags have a tight end on both sides. Matter of fact, uh, they've got a fullback. Royals checks in. Split backs, handoff. It goes to Hardeman. Fights for the end zone. Didn't get any dead. Touchdown. From about the two-yard line, the Aggies take advantage of the UNT turnover on the punt. Take it in from about the 19-yard line. Jeff Wilson applied the hit. Michael Jamison got the loose football. And now Hardeman will get the touchdown. 
That's his third of the season. Counted about two yards out. There's Bill Johnston holding. Kyle Lednicki will be the deep snapper. Kyle Bryant. Here's the kick. It's up. And it's good. 17 to 10, 12.40 to go. In the third quarter, the Aggies, a seven-point advantage. They've led 10 to nothing. 10 to 3, tied at 10, now 17 to 10. But that's the first time this season that the Aggies have used a quarterback for just one series, which they did the opening series with Stewart and then brought McCowan in. Here's the kickoff, and it will be short and will be taken by Allred at the 8 to the 20. Has a seam, 30-yard line. Caught from the backside, brought down at the 20, uh, make it 39-yard line. Out at, well, they give him the 40. Quarterback will be Jason Mills. Single setback, slot to the left. He's calling an audible. Look to his left, now to his right. He's got a tight end, Waters on that side. Drops back to the 35, throws, almost intercepted by Curry. Second down and 10 from the 40-yard line. The Aggies leading 17 to 10 in the ball game. Allred's the running back for the Bean Green. Aggies are coming on a, a blitz, and it's a handoff. It goes up the middle, caught and brought down by Edwards. Handoff Mills to Allred. Will lose back to the 37-yard line, and he was there at the handoff. Ronald Edwards, the freshman from Houston, Klein Forest. Third down, 13. Must get to the 50-yard line. Shotgun. Pocket at the 30. Steps up, throws. Caught, but tackled at the 42. It'll be about a five-yard gain. They'll have to punt. John Baker in the first half in punting four kicks, a 48-yard average. His longest was 60. Takes the snap, outside pressure, gets the kick away. It will hit at the 20. It's going to get a UNT bounce and will be killed. Where did it go out of bounds? He pushed that out of bounds at the one-and-a-half-yard line. So first down and 10, 90 yards away, Texas A&M. 11.07 to go in the third. The Aggies ahead 17 to 10. They got a break a moment ago. Got a fumble recovery at about the 19 and took it in for a score. Handoff. Hall carrying a couple of guys with him and he picks up about seven yards. Second down and three. Must make the 20. Mark Broyles is the fullback. Snap it. Stewart's back in at quarterback. Throw the ball out of the backfield to Broyles. Off his hands wide open. And it up behind Brandon Stewart. Kobe Hackrat the center. Spiller and Campbell are the tight ends. Pitch it left. Hall bottled up for a moment. Bottled up again. Breaks a tackle. Fighting for the 20. Did he make the 20? The ball has been fumbled. And I think the Aggies have recovered it at the 21-yard line. It's first down and 10. The Aggies at their own 21. Hash left. They'll snap the ball with movement into the neutral zone by North Texas. Stewart carries for about three or four yards. It's first down and 15. Must get the ball to the 31. It's moved back to the 16-yard line. Handed off, tripped up as he crosses the line of scrimmage. Will be Dante Hall at about the 18-yard line. Here's second down and about 13. Setting up a screen to the left side, caught and then dropped at about the 15-yard line. There was a UNT player right in the middle of that screen. He had smelled it out. Here's the play. As they snap it, a pitch left. There's a good block at the 20. Here's Hall trying to break out at the 25, goes to the Looked like it had potential as it started to, to develop. Heath Moody now will uh, drop back. They've taken Tubby Coleman out. Here's the kick by Leckler. Moody will come up to the 34. Starts his run back to the 40, to the 42-yard line. And he goes down as they start to close on him. Seen Jason Mills on every snap here in the second half for UNT. He's back at quarterback. We saw McLean in the first half. Axe may be coming on a blitz. They'll throw in a hurry. It's batted up in the air and then down at the 45-yard line. And a couple of Axe trying to dive for it, but it will fall incomplete. They have motion. Swinging back. Young goes set. Hand off to Allred. He tries the right side. He crosses the 45, and that'll be all. Move back to the 40. It's third down. It's more like 12. Shotgun formation. Must get it across midfield. There's a low snap out of a shotgun. Throw it deep over the middle. Intercept. Oh, he dropped the ball. Oh, Cody, Cody had it at the Aggie 36. It was intended for Jay Young. It was over his head. Rich Cody had the ball right in his hands, and then it came right out. Here is John Baker. 
Second best in the country. He's right at his average today. At halftime, he was 48. Outside pressure. Oh, this is a boomer. Hall will watch this one. Uh, hit at the one and then into the end zone. He was trying for that sideline, and they almost made it. Here's Texas A&M, first down and 10. McCowan's checked back in at the quarterback slot. Parker, play action. And roll back to the 10, set up, going to throw deep. He has Hodge. He's going to try to get it to him, and Hodge and the John go high in the air at the 30, and it's off the hands of both. Two wide outs on the right side, one of which is Taylor. The other is Bumgardner. The single setback is Sir Parker. Hack right the center. McCowan again at quarterback. Shallow pocket, throws, almost intercepted as he tries to get it to Bumgardner at the 23. 30-yard line, the magic spot. Single setback again stays as Sir Parker. Two tight ends. McCowan talks to his two flankers, either side of the ball. Starts an option. He is trapped in the backfield and dropped at the 18-17 yard line. 6.45 remaining in the third quarter. Pressure up the middle. Punts away by Leckler. Fair catch being called for by Moody at the 32 yard line. UNT leaves Mills at quarterback. They have it at their own 32. First and 10. Ags on defense look for some sort of turnover. That's led to points in the second half. Handoff goes to Wilburn, who's replaced all red. And he carries to the 35 and a half yard line. Second down. And the scoreboard says about six. Motion right to left. Little screen out here to the right side. Let me get left side. And that will develop into a first down as they will make the uh, reception to Jay Young. Brought down by Shun Horn. But across the 43 to the 44, they got the first down by a yard. Oh, Harrison here to the left. Two wide outs on the right. One's in a slut. On the ground to Wilburn. Across the 45. Makes his way out to the 49-yard line. He gets five yards. It'll be second down and five when North Texas comes back to the line. Second down and five from the 49-yard line. Wilburn stays in as a running back. He's off to the right shoulder of Mills. Drop back. Throw. Caught. First down. Across the 45 to the Aggie 43. Caught by Bo Harrison. This drive looks promising for UNT. Rich Cody from that safety spot. Made the tackle, but it's another first down. Aggies are making four defensive changes again as UNT comes to the line of scrimmage. Single setback. On the ground, Wilbur tries the left side. Gets the 40, picks up about three and a half. Here's the second down and about seven from the 40. Pumps once. Here's a sack of Mills by Crowley. Back across the 45 at the 46. They will lose North Texas on this one about six yards. This is third down and 12 as we get back to play from a shotgun. Mills waits for the snap. He has it, drops back. There's a flag. They stop everything. Whistle and a flag as the play started to develop. The referee will drop it standing behind Jason Mills. Illegal procedure called against North Texas. So third down, that was 12, third down and 17. Here's third down and 18. The ball has moved back across the 50 to the UNT 49 on the illegal procedure. From the shotgun, step up. He's going to be, oh, it's been intercepted. He threw the ball and it's been intercepted and now fumbled and picked up again by Dan Wynn. He fumbles it at the 25 and then rolls at the 24 yard line and they'll mark him down there. <laughs> As he is about to throw, Brad Crowley stepped in and the ball went right into Brad Crowley's gut. He started down the field, was caught, and then the ball squirted free again. Dan Wynn picked it up, lost it, and then Dan Wynn finally rolled and got it to the 24-yard line. That is a minus 26 rushing the ball today for UNT. Here's Hodge in motion. That might have been on that play. Down to the 25-yard line. That was on that play. Here's a handoff right side at the 20. Tripped up from the backside is Sir Parker at the 18-yard line. McCowan is the quarterback. High formation, Hardeman and Parker. And off to Parker again. Left side. He's wrapped up as he spins, and he has a first down across 15 to the seven uh, to the 13 yard line. McCowan's under center. Hackrat is that man. They hand off. It goes to Hardeman. Hardeman uh, from the 14 to about the 12 yard line. At the 12, he's brought down. McCowan suddenly called timeout. Each team now with two remaining. With a minute 56 to go here in the third quarter. The Aggies are second down and eight. At the UNT 12, audible with an eye formation. Two tight ends and a flanker. The handoff to Hall, dancing around to the 10, pushing, trying to get the eight. He does. So it'll be third down from the eight-yard line. They will need, the Aggies will need about four. 
The Ags show a heavy eye with motion from Hodge coming left to right. McCowan takes the ball, hands off. It will go to Hall. Hall fights as he goes to near the five. 27 seconds left in the third quarter. This would make it 20 to 10. A little high on the snap. The kick is up, and the kick is good. And it's 20 to 10 with 24 seconds to go until the end of the third. 20 to 10, the Aggies over UNT. This is Texas Aggie football. Kyle Bryant ready to kick it off for the Aggies following his 27-yard field goal, his second of the day. Here's the kick. It's a cruise kick in under end. Will sail into the end zone. Hut Allred will take the knee. Here's something from your Texas A&M Athletic Department bulletin board. Soccer tomorrow down in Houston at Meyer Park. G. Guerrero and the soccer team ranked third in the nation. Will take on top-ranked North Carolina at 2.30 tomorrow afternoon. They made a change at quarterback. Like Darren uh, McLean will check back in. Couple of running backs behind him. There is a flag and I think uh, time ran out on him. It took one second off of the uh, scoreboard. Ball's at the 20 on the touchback. Delay of game. North Texas moving back to the 15-yard line. High formation. It's first down and 15 after the delay of game back to the 15-yard line. And it will be play. I know it's a uh, option here run by McLean. He handed off uh, fake to Hampton the fullback and then kept it, pulled it in, put it in, then pulled it back out. And, of course, uh, the last time out for CU. They just snapped the ball. McLean wasn't looking, and it's uh, going to be a fumble recovery by McLean back at the 7. Out of a shotgun, they snapped it past his left arm. CU, the Aggie opponent, next Saturday in Boulder. One of eight on third downs. This is third. This is going to be a quarterback draw to McLean. He ran into one of his own men and then gets it out to about the 15. Way shy of the first down by about 15 yards. He got six. That win finally on the stop. And here we go. Waiting for the snap. Baker will take the snap. Standing back at his own two. Line of scrimmage again, the 15. Ags putting some pressure up the middle. Almost ran into him. And I think that shook him up a little bit, even though he's going to get a great roll. Hall picks it up at the 35. Got a block from Jamison at the 40. Goes back to the 45. Goes to the 50. Looking for another block as he goes across the 45. Goes across the 40. And now down to the 38-yard line. About a 26-yard punt return a moment ago by Dante Hall. Has moved the ball to the UNT 38-yard line. In the backfield, handoff. Parker goes through a big traffic jam at the line of scrimmage and got a yard. Second down, and we'll go along with the scoreboard, and eight. Hodge in motion to the right side. The quarterback is Brandon Stewart. The handoff to Parker. Ooh, he had right in the middle. He hit the 35, and that was helmet to helmet at the 35-yard line with Benny Cherry. Split backs, third down play. Stewart waits for the snap, takes it, drops to the 40, steps away from a man. Now he's forced to run, goes to the 34-yard line. He was covered up. He had no chance. All he could do was run with the football, and he takes it down to the 34-yard line. It's a pickup of about two yards. Bryant, Bill Johnston will hold. It's spotted down. Here's the kick. And did it make it? It did. He hit it from 51 yards. He's hit 51, 47, and 27 today. 51-yard field goal in the ball game. He had a 50. 51. He missed on that, so he is now four out of nine from uh, that range for his career. And he makes it 23 to 10. Down. Here is Kyle Bryant's under that will go into the end zone. They'll bring it out to the 20-yard line. First down and 10 at the 20. It's a shotgun, and we've got Jason Mills back out on the field for the Takes the snap at the 15, retreats back to his 11, throws over the middle, and it is caught. That will... Be at the 25 on the reception by 16. Shotgun again, take the snap at the 20. Drop back to the 17, throw the ball, caught by Young at the 29. Fights for a first down, he won't get it. Oh, there's got to be a flag there. There it there is. Will be. Young got up, and as he did, he forearmed Rich Cody of Texas A&M. 10-20 to go in the fourth. The Aggies leading at 23-10. Snap it, throw it, and it. There's flag. They stopped that play. Here's the snap. And it's a draw out of the backfield. That went nowhere. There's either Hall Red or Wilburn. Warwick uh, Holman. Warwick Holman. Oh, he's right in the hole. Chris Theory got up, walked off the field. This one away from their own end zone. The Ags are coming. They almost got to him. And the kick is a dandy. Here is Hall at the 41. Retreats back now to the 45. Looking for midfield. He is at the 
The 49-yard line, shy of the 50. At midfield, first down and 10. McCowan is the Aggie quarterback. Continuing the quarterback shuffle. Oh, Charcy Slocum. Out of the backfield, handed off to Hall. Big hole at the 40, puts a move on a man. Now he's at the 30, 20, looking for the sideline. Can he make a touchdown? He went out of bounds. The one-yard line at the one, pushed out at the one-yard line by the high. They had the proper angle. He almost got that one in, Dave. He goes 49 yards. You know, it's been a long day for him. It's first and goal, the Aggies. Trying to make it 29 to 10, and then the extra point would make it 30 to 10 with 9 10 remaining. Here is a quarterback sneak by Randy McCowan, and he got the touchdown. McCowan scores. I think that'll be his first rushing touchdown. So McCowan, all now 156 yards. After that four run. McCowan gets the quarterback's uh, sneak for the touchdown. That makes it 29 to 10 with 9.08 to go in the ball game. Starting to lose a few of the North Texas fans over on the far side. Ags will go for two on the extra points. Going for two. Roll to the right. Throw to the end zone. Throw it high over the head of Sir Parker. So they go for two and the pass fails. And it'll stay 29 to 10. Texas A&M with 9.08 to go in the game. This is Texas Aggie football. It's unofficially, we've got Dante Hall now with 156. Here's the kickoff at the goal line. Hut Allred back to the 10 to the 15. Cuts this way to the 20. Gives a shoulder to one of the Ags and they ride him out of bounds. The 28. Cedric Curry was on his back as the two went out at the 28-yard line. Hills at quarterback. Single setback will be Jaquay Wilbur. Line of scrimmage, the 28-yard line. First down. Out of the backfield, to Wilbur. Caught at the line of scrimmage. Got a yard. Got two yards out to the 30. Warwick Holman, a high school All-American out of Alif Elsig High School, made that stop. Second down and eight. Here's the throw. Incomplete out about the 35-yard line. Third down and eight. 30-yard line. Shotgun, UNT, the Aggies lead 29 to 10, 8.13 to go, clock stopped on the incomplete, drops back, steps up, throws, caught for a first down across the 40, scampering around to the 45, 46, it'll be Bo Harrison. Aggies next week in Buff uh, in, uh, against the Buffaloes of Colorado in Boulder. And we will kick that one off at 2.30 Texas time. It'll be on ABC, so we'll invite you to turn down the sound of the television and turn up the Aggie Radio Network. Dave and I will be there. Along with the rest of our crew, they will sprint out to the left side on a handoff to Wilburn. He's at the 50-yard line. Crosses the 50. will go to the 49. Second down and a little more than five from midfield. We'll air it out. They'll throw, and it is dropped about the 40. Ended receiver will be Jay Young. Defensive coverage from Cedric Curry. Incomplete about the Aggie 43. And they could smell a third victory in a row here today. Leading right now by 19, 29-10. Third down play. Mills drops back. Mills throws. It is dropped at the 49-yard line by Brian Waters. So BYU, 19-16 in overtime, has beaten SMU. SMU, of course, a win over... Arkansas, and then they were trounced by Navy, and then gave BYU all they needed today. Here's the kick, and it's going to roll out of bounds inside the 15. It'll be spotted at the Aggie 13-yard line. That internet address is www.wtaw.com. Here's the play. The Aggies pitch deep, coming back to the left side, and bottled up at the line of scrimmage about the 13-yard line. That was Sir Parker. Was it, sir? Yes, sir. It's Brandon Stewart. Parker stays behind him. Kobe Hackrat is the center. I don't think there's any changes in that offensive line. Two tight ends, Spiller and Campbell. Hand off to Parker. Caught for a moment in the backfield. Slips that tackle. Goes to the 15. Working his way to the 19. Make it the 18-yard line. Third down coming. Split backs behind Stewart. Tight ends to the right side of the formation. Stewart back to the 12. Throws in the flats. Caught for a first down by Hodge. Fighting his way to the 30. Out of bounds, he goes at the 31-yard line. Hodge had caught three passes against Sam and three against USL. Caught his first one here and got the ball to the 31 and an Aggie first down. Lone setback behind Stewart. Stewart steps away from his center and he's yelling something at both sides of the line. 
drops back from the 25, lofts one to the sideline, stretching out. It goes incomplete down around the 35-yard line. Man running deep for the Aggies would be Matt Bumgardner. Second down and 10. 31-yard line. Hardeman's the only setback. Two tight ends. Mahone is one of them. Hand off Hardeman. He has the middle, and he has about nine, give it eight yards to the 39-yard line. This will be the sixth win all time for the Aggies in this series that dates back to 1928. Hodges in motion. Stewart takes the ball, pitching right to Parker. Had a lead block. He has the first down and more midfield. Turning on some speed. Now caught and wrapped up down at the UNT 34-yard line. He had a whole bunch of green jerseys around him. Philip Littlejohn was the man that finally brought him down. And now Sarah Parker will go over the 100-yard mark for the day. High formation. Hardeman and Hall behind him. Pitch it to Hall. They're going to try the halfback pass again. Second time today. Throw it, and it's caught at the five-yard line. Bumgardner was there again. He stepped in front of the receiver at the five. Caught it. They went down. There is a flag down at the 36-yard line. Well, the first time Dante Hall got a hold. overthrew it. Duck that Baumgartner made a great catch of. Holding violation against Texas AM. So now first down and 22. The penalty moving the ball back to the UNT 46. Ags must go to the 24. Two wideouts on the left, tight end right. Keep it on the ground. Go up the middle to Hardeman. He is caught down around the ankles. Here's second down coming. Single setback back at the 49. Here is Stewart rolling to his left, throwing. He just hit Hodge at the 28-yard line. They got a bunch of it, but still not enough for the first down. Need the 24. Stewart under center. He's got Hardeman behind him. Two tight ends in the game. Matt Mahone's been out there today. Here's a handoff. The Aggies come close for a first down. They're going to spot him, however. I think it's shy. Fourth down play. Stewart will sneak for it. Did he get it? That's going to be close. Brandon Stewart operates the offense. Not sure of the number of snaps. It's probably going to be about equal between the two, McCowan and Stewart. There's one setback. There's two tight ends and two wideouts. And they'll go on the ground. It's Hardeman up the middle. He has about five people on his back as he carries him down to the nine-yard line. First and goal, the Aggies. Here's Stewart. Hands off to Hardeman. Hits the middle. Bounces off. He's going to score. He did. He hit into the middle and saw a little opening on the right. He went right in from nine yards out. Tiki scores his second touchdown of the day. Brings him up to a count of four for the year. Hardeman scores from the nine. Makes it 35 to 10 with a minute 26 remaining in the ball game. Here's Kyle Bryant. Kyle 13th in the nation in scoring coming into the ball game. He's been perfect on his extra points this season. 17 of 17 in two today's ball game. Extra point is up, and it's good. So the Aggies now make it 36 to 10 over the University of North Texas. It's all family next week. The first weekend of all Big 12 play. Here's the kickoff. And it will be taken at the two-yard line. Back to the 10, to the 15, to the 20, and oh, a nice wow. hit at about the 23-yard line. That'll be Cornelius Anthony, I believe. Down years the last couple of years under Lou Holtz. The Ags just jumped off sides before the ball was snapped. Some people eager to get back to the quarterback, Ladarren McLean. Shotgun. McLean has seen not quite as much playing time today as Mills. And he'll run from the quarterback spot to cry. He'll pick up a first down. He goes across the 35 and dives to the 37. That'll stop the clock with a minute 16 remaining in this game. The only uh, call that there was a question mark on was the celebration call right. against uh, Dante Hall last week. I saw it on tape. RC talked about it a little bit with the media. Didn't say a whole lot about it. He can't, but uh, saw that one on tape. and That probably should have been a no call. Drop back, throw it to the sideline. It's high, great uh, acrobat. He did catch the ball, but I think he was out of bounds. Well, but they're going to give it to him. Wow. And the reception <laughs> will be made across the 50 at the 48-yard line by Kendrick Holly. The ball now on the Aggie side of the 50, just shy of the Aggie 48. Shotgun again for McLean. Freshman red shirt from Louisville. As it drops back to his 45, looks to his right now, throws over the middle, has a reception at the Aggie 43-yard line. 
Aggies have a timeout remaining. UNT has two. They'll drop back and throw the ball straight into the turf to stop the clock. Yeah, well, I mean, and even with the coaches on the sideline, you know, there's not time to sit down with a pencil and paper and figure <laughs> all this out. Uh, but I agree with you. It probably should have called a timeout. Drop back and throw off the knee of the intended receiver. Two receivers out to the left side, two to the right. All reds in the backfield. He'll block for McLean. Aggies ahead 36 to 10 with 25 seconds to go. They'll throw it. Goes to the sideline. It goes incomplete. They were trying to hit Yearwood. So the Aggies, their last two times out here, have drawn over 100,000. A&M snaps it. That will be Randy McCowan dropping back, taking the knee. And unless UNT calls a timeout, this ball game is over with. A&M will not run another play. The Aggie bench now starting to make their way out onto the field. And AM has won it by a score of 36 to 10. That's the final here. AM 36 and UNT 10. And the Aggie faithful waving those 12th man towels and celebrating the win. The Aggies now 3 0, the 18th ranked team in the nation. We'll now go to college and Buffalo next Saturday for a 2 30 kick. It'll be televised on ABC. Final score AM 36, UNT 10. Stay tuned for the post game show. This is Texas Aggie football. Well, we, we won another game today, and that's what we came up here to do. And uh, we, we obviously made some mistakes, uh, particularly in the first half. And uh, we'll come back and go to work, and uh, it's a good feeling to be 3-0. Tie ball game at half, what did you do different in the second half? We, we didn't do uh, much different at half. I thought we'd made some, some uh, key errors in the first half. We had some things. We had to have back pass for a touchdown, and uh, we underthrew it a little bit, a little bit late throwing the football, and uh, had some other things. Uh, had the tight end open in the flat and didn't hit him. And just, we were just misfiring a little bit, and uh, defensively, uh, there were a couple of plays that uh, we didn't uh, get into proper zones in our coverage, but I thought our team played hard in the first half. I was really pleased. I told the team at halftime I was pleased with their effort and just go back out, and the breaks would come our way. Sir Parker really got you jump-started on that first uh, drive. I, I thought it was uh, that's like you would like to start a game to come out and uh, to be focused and take it right down the field, put points on the board, and that, that was a good drive. <clears throat> Is it frustrating to have so many opportunities with a good field position and forcing turnovers and have to settle for three like you did a couple of times? Well, it, it's always frustrating when, you, you know, I guess on every drive that you don't go score, it's frustrating. But uh, we did. I thought Kyle Bryant did a good job in some of those situations of salvaging three points for us. And uh, I, I thought that was uh, those points were, were pretty significant. Did you learn anything about your team? I know you said in the past you really haven't played any powerhouses lately. You played this is the best team you've played so far. It's the best team we've played, and it was a game uh, that uh, at halftime was was uh, a tie ball game. And I think just the mental aspect of being in a game where we were uh, having to work to get some things done and coming in at halftime uh, in that situation, I think it was good for our team. I was really I'm really pleased uh, in hindsight that the game was like that. I was hoping it would be that way in, in all honesty because we needed a game where where we could go out and have to worry about the outcome a little bit.